What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how to swap out your keycaps on your keyboard. Just to make this as realistic as possible, because many people may not know which keycaps will fit their keyboard, I went out to Micro Center and I grabbed just a random set of keycaps. I ended up with the Steel Series Prism caps. Uh, they're white and then they have like a little transparent bottom just to show off RGBs better. But that aside, I just picked up a random set because a lot of people may just go and think, you know what, these will fit and then, you know, I'll install them. So that's exactly what we're gonna try in this video and I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. First thing you're gonna look for in the packaging is a little tool that looks like this. And basically what this is is a keycap removal tool and it just slides on. Before we get started, go ahead and turn off or unplug your keyboard. Now that it's off, we're ready to get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the packaging and I'm gonna start with this one since this is the package that had the tool in it. All you have to do is take your little tool. Every tool looks a bit different, but they all do the same thing. You just slip them on till they click like that and then pull up, slide them out, and that's it. And now go ahead, and take your new keycap, line it up, push down, and that's all there really is to it. Now let's go ahead and do one of the bigger keys. Let's do the enter key. Same thing, slide it. Take the enter key from here. And there we go. So I'm basically gonna go ahead and kind of speed through this because it's a lot of repetitive stuff. But that's basically the gist of it. See like this side came up on its own. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide to this side. Just pop that and it looks like this one's being really stubborn. So I'm gonna have to pry that out and then stick it back in there. So on this keyboard, these little things come off. They just line back up in here. And just like that. So basically go ahead and repeat all those steps again and again. Sheesh. I, that one wanted to fly all the way over there. Another quick tip, as you can see, this one has like a little M button. Um, so if I press FN, I can press the M button for another feature. Uh, when you buy different keycaps, especially if they're not specific brands for your specific keyboard, you may not have that logo on there anymore. So that's something to keep in mind. Another quick thing I wanna mention, uh, many universal keycaps like these, they'll come with a whole nother uh, package like this for different uh, sizes. So keep that in mind. Like I said, these are universal. Um, so they should fit most keyboards. In this case, they included a bunch of these. If I run into any issues, I will mention that uh, just so you can keep that in mind when you're purchasing keycaps. Also, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these uh, white keycaps. I'm The more that I put on here, the more that I kind of like it. <laughs> I picked these up randomly and I'm kind of, I'm thinking I might just keep them on here. Not gonna lie. All right, so here's the first issue that I ran into so far, as far as compatibility. Uh, so these two keys on my keyboard are this page key. I'm not really sure what it does, so I don't really care. But the FN key. So they do include these FN keys. Uh, this one, and then there's the page key right here. There's two of them. Um, but they're not the right size. So the ones that came over here, Windows key, which I am going to put here, but it's going to be the FN key. Um, and then for the page key, I just put this Steel Series logo. Uh, that's just because that's the only ones that could fit. These won't fit there. Uh, they're a little small, and I think it's just going to look a little off. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I kind of like the look. It looks great. Steel Series did a good job on these. I like the feel of these. So they, they feel great, they look great, and I do like all of the, the actual font better. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, 
kind of show you the difference. So it definitely gave it a little more RGB. There you can see what it used to look like and now what it looks like. So as far as RGB goes, definitely more here. Um, and I kind of like it. it. It definitely has a more bold look. Like I said, the font is a little bigger, uh, just better overall looking. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's all it really takes. I kind of went in order and uh, just kind of did it like that. I think overall these keys look great. If you want to pick them up, I'll leave a link down in the description. Now with all that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I try to respond to every comment. Otherwise, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.